this is the face of no sleep. I didn't get any sleep last night. I just couldn't sleep. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, so today I'm gonna show different hairstyles that I'm doing. Basic stuff, proper roller sets for relaxed hair. I think I'm gonna show adding tracks, um, just pieces. But yeah, it's gonna be a good hair day. So I think I have like five of my friends that I'm gonna do. So just showing different stuff, how I do stuff, basic ways to do stuff so that you never mess up, basically. All right? So I hope you enjoy it. I need to wake up. Y'all see this face? I try to put a little something on it, like wake me up. But, ooh, it's kinda rough. Hopefully I wake up and don't mess nobody up. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, guys. See you. Okay, guys. So this is a basic roller set. And you can use this same pattern no matter how big or small the roller is. You're going to use five columns. Your center column and then two columns on each side. This particular set is for a straight doobie set. You know, so I would sit her under the dryer for about 45 minutes. Now, when you're doing the roller set, you have to stretch that hair on that roller and make sure that the hair is very moist. So after you, as you can see, the set is finished. So it's five columns, the middle and the two sides. And again, you pull that roller tight so that you can see that shine. You know that hair is gonna be straight. You have no bubbles. Make sure you have no bubbles and keep the hair moist. Always spray the hair, make sure it's moist. And then when your rollers are finished, they should just slide out like this. How cute, that shine stuff automatically be there. Otherwise you didn't do it right. That's tip. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a relaxer. You always section out in four sections. Do not take shortcuts, people. This is the chemical. So you start with the back, you apply the back, you go back through the back, then you apply the front, and then you go back through the front. You do this so that if she starts burning, once you got the back done, you can always rinse it out to be safe, then go back and do the front. This is why it's done in four sections, okay? So let me rinse her out. And we're gonna add tracks in her hair. Okay. Okay guys. So I did Lori's relax. I'm just gonna blow dry her out. We're just gonna add some tracks in for fullness. So she can be banging this weekend. I don't know what she's doing, but we're gonna So she's going to a party. So I'm gonna blow dry her and I'll get that to y'all. What I like to do is put my braids in when my tracks are going before I do anything else, section it out, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Okay, she's all blown out, and now I'm getting ready to add her hair to give her length and a little fullness. So before I started, I braided the three rows of braids to where I'm going to sew the hair onto. So I have one in the nap area, one in the middle, as you can see, edge to edge on both sides evenly, and then I have one in the crown area right here in her crown area, okay? So now I'm going to, well, I already started sewing, sewing the nap area on. And as you can see, I doubled the track because this hair is kind of thin. So since we're going for a little thickness, I put two width together and sewing the width underneath the width. Do not go through the width. I mean, you can if you want, but I like to, as you can see, go underneath so that it holds it up nice and smoothly and does not poke out, okay? And along the way, I will constantly ask her, is, is, her, hair, is her hair comfortable? Because sometimes you can pull um, extra hair that you're not really trying to sew in. So now that I'm finished sewing all the tracks in, you can see how nice and neat that looks and nice and smooth. 
because I sewed underneath the track, the whole width. See that, how it lays nice and flat. And that's what you want. I know, I know, okay? I know. You don't want it short, I know. So I'm gonna cut her up. <laughs> Hopefully I won't cut it too short, let's <laughs> Okay. And, and here's her results. She's happy, and she's happy. This last style is um, goddess braids going up. I think I have about six braids. And it's the under braid, not the over braid. I took my time. And once I finish that, I will knot each one, as you can see, for the style that I'm going to achieve. I will gather the ends up, rubber band them with a nice secure band, and let me show you the finishing. All I did was pin curl the loose parts, bobby pin it up, put some shine to it, make sure her edges are nice and smooth, and voila, bounce tip. Nice and easy. Grab it, yes. Today that I'm showing y'all. One more to do, and that's gonna be it. So pick up some tips. This hairdo was my most easiest one today. It's called the knots, unnatural hair. All you're doing is sectioning the hair out. Got three sections in the back, three sections on top. It's best to section it out because you want to work with the back first so that it comes out nice and even and neat. You're using your wet mousse. You twist it, wrap it around, go under the dryer, and voila, you're done. How cute. Hey guys. So, my day's done. I hope you guys enjoy the hairstyles. They're real simple hairstyles. Um, nothing crazy. Basically with their own hair. So, now I'm just headed to the bank and then I'll be heading home. Like doing my favorite crafting with my friends. My face look ashy. Sorry about that, guys. It light. Bam! But I'm still tired. I can't wait to get just get on the couch and just fall asleep. You know what I mean? On that note, guys, this is gonna be the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below. Leave me some comments, please me to read and uh i'll see you guys on the next one okay Mwah. hello i'm valerie here to show you guys my product this is my vb device holder bridal collection it's used for your iphone ipad let me demonstrate you just place your phone right on it can be used for many different items your iPhone iPad your books etc again Valerie's VB device holder again this is the bridal collection of 2020 I love them send me a comment